Hi guys, welcome to Journey with Char. Okay, today I'm just going to take a little quick photo of something that I found yesterday in um, Costco. It's called Luca. And they're 36 macaroons. And this is them here. I'm letting them get to room temperature. And I'm going to make some tea for me and my sister. And we're going to have some macaroons today. So if you guys have never heard of Luca, I'm going to do a taste test later on. Probably half of these will be gone because I have my mother here too. She's going to taste some. But I'm still going to taste some for you guys, each flavor, so that you will know if these are worth going to buy. So these are Luca macaroons. Here we go. And they're from Costco, you guys. And I heard that you can also get them from Walmart. Now, let me tell you this. This is an art piece that my sister did for me. She made this for my birthday, maybe about four years ago. And she also bought me this set a long time ago. It's by Rosanna Inc. And I got this from Anthropology. It also comes with the big teapot. It's a tea set, but I'm just pulling out these two for right now. And this cake plate I also got from Anthropology a very long time ago. And the flowers, you guys know 99 cent store. Okay, so I will be doing a taste test, but I'm going to snap a picture. And I'll see you guys soon. How are you guys doing this beautiful Monday evening? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Been doing pretty good. It's been a long time since I really sat down and just really talked to you guys. But I'm going to do one later because there's some things I want to uh, discuss with you guys as far as my readings and just what I've been doing here lately. Um, but tonight, this is going to be a very quick little haul. And guess what it's about? Macaroons. So I took a picture. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to upload it where you guys can see the picture and some filming of it. So you, yes, yesterday, I bought these macaroons from Costco, you guys, and I wanted to do a taste test in front of you and I'm going to lay them out um, on this beautiful cake stand. Just so you can see how pretty this little cute little cake stand my sister bought me a long time ago. So anyway, before I even get started, you guys, I want to show you something that my sister did for me. You're probably going to see it in um, the picture, the video that I did. I got lipstick and I want to make sure I don't get lipstick on this. But my sister made this for me for my birthday probably about three or four years ago. Three to four years ago. I think four. And I've been having it ever since. Um, when it came in the mail, it broke um, the bottom half and she fixed it for me. So, because you guys, she's an artist. She builds these things. So she fixed it. So anyway, I want to show you guys, this is so precious to me. She knows that I love, 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 my favorite dessert ever is macaroons. I love macaroons. You guys, how cute is that? My sister did that for me for my birthday, and it is just the most precious thing. I love it, you guys. Look at the macaroons, the beautiful glitter, just the color. She knows that I love color, and when I saw that, I thought it would just be so cute to just put with the little, you know, um, picture that you'll see that I did. What in the world? Why are you here? Sorry, y'all. It's a little, whatever it is, a little mag, a little fly or whatever. But anyway, how cute is that? She knows I love macaroons and she made this for me. And it is such a precious gift and I will cherish it forever in a day. So I'm going to do my back different, my backsplash or whatever you want to call it. And this is going to be included. So you guys, this is a cute, sweet tree. Isn't it adorable? And the glitter, this thing is like four years old. And look at the glitter still. You guys, it is heavy because she made each, she handmade each macaroon. It is heavy, but you guys, absolutely beautiful. So yes. That's very precious to me. So I want to set that to a side. I wanted to show you guys, because I know probably some of you will wonder, where did she get that macaroon thing from? So my sister made it. <laughs> so you won't be able to find it in stores because she made it. Okay, so let me open up this. Luca 36 macaroons. Let me just show you guys that. Chocolate, vanilla, raspberry, pistachio, lemon, and coffee. It's a company called Luca Patisserie. And it's based here in Southern California. And you guys, they sell a smaller box I just found out in Walmart. So people, I have been tasting these and trying these. So I saw them the other day, my sister and I, when we were in Walmart. And we were like, oh my God. Because I'm getting her hung on macaroons too. Y'all, I still have to do the macaroon taste with the lottery. I'm going to do that. 
and I'm going to do the Bottega Louie. If you haven't heard of it, it's a macaroon place I'm going to take you guys to soon. So stay tuned for that this summer. So anyway, let me pull out the macaroons. As you can see, we have eaten some. Yes, we have. But I wanted to do a taste test in front of you guys. Okay, I'm going to put these. They're so cute. They're so delicate. And I'm going to taste one from each group. Okay. And I'm going to put the rest of these over here. All right. So these are them. I don't know if you can see them without me dropping them. That's them. Okay. So now we're going to get with the taste test. This first one, I'm assuming, you guys, it smells exactly like a macaroon in the shop. The texture of it, the feel of it. I'm going to show you that. I guess that's how the young girls do that. I don't know when they be blocking. But anyway, this one, I'm assuming it's lemon. Let me taste it. So you guys see, I tried the Trader Joe's ones. I'm going to do a taste test again so that I can go over it again because I forgot. But pretty much the Trader Joe's, you see how this one has a cream in the middle? It literally has a cream. Trader Joe's had a gel consistency in the middle of theirs. I wasn't too happy about it. Um, so this one has a cream. So... Let me try it, huh? Mm. Okay. This is lemon. You guys, for it to be a frozen brand, it's absolutely fantastic. Lemon is good. I'm taking another bite. <laughs> okay. For it to be frozen so far, that lemon is tart. It tastes like a lemon meringue pie. Really, really good. That was the lemon one. Okay, so I pulled them out and I don't forgot which one is which. All right, so let's. Oh, this one I know is chocolate. Chocolate. You guys, that's the chocolate one. Okay. The chocolate has a bitterness to it, but it's chocolate. It's not real sweet, but it's a nice chocolate. And, and I like that because if it's too sweet, it, doesn't, it just seems like it's not a good quality. So this chocolate is a good quality. It seems like a nice dark chocolate. It's really good. Okay, let me take a sip of my drink. So the next one, I know this one's raspberry. So that's really pretty. The pink one, you guys, excuse my lipstick on my fingers. Okay, let's try this one. Mmm, raspberry. These are very, very good to be frozen. Only thing I me, I probably would want a little bit more in the middle, but it's really good. Okay. This one is pistachio. I know because it's green. That's the pistachio. And it's cream, not gel. So that's important, I think. Mm -hmm. You get pistachio right off. It's good. Mm. Okay. Now the next one we're going to try... I believe this one is vanilla. You see the cream in there? That's what I love about it. They use real cream. Has a nice vanilla scent. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the vanilla one, I'm going to tell y'all what it tastes exactly like. Go get your best scoop of vanilla ice cream. It tastes like I put a spoonful of vanilla ice cream in my mouth. Same thing, same taste. All right. Coffee. I like when you can smell the coffee scent. Okay, so this is coffee. I don't know why my sister over there looking at me like she crazy. All right. Here we go. She don't like coffee. Mmm. Nice cup of coffee. Coffee is good. So 
So those are all the flavors that come in this Luca 36 macaroon. You guys, it's really, really good. I don't know. The only thing I wish they wouldn't have done is don't show that if they don't look like that. Because the coffee doesn't look like that. <laughs> but other than that, Luca's frozen macaroons are really, really good, you guys. If you want macaroons, don't want to spend a lot of money because macaroons can be very expensive. You guys, go to your local Walmart. They sell them there. They also sell them at Costco. And I wouldn't doubt it if they sell it. What's the other place? It's not Price Club. That used to be Costco. What is it? Something. Sam's Club. You guys, see a Sam's Club. Sell it also. The Luca brand is really delicious. I'm very shocked that um, the cream, they did it with cream. And, and I looked at the ingredients, and they're not things that's hard to pronounce. They're all natural ingredients. And really really good so you guys check out the luca especially if you don't want to go honey let me tell you you go to a lot of rain you get like six mac macaroons for like 20 something dollars yes this package here i believe costs us 11.99 for 36 macaroons 11.99 for 36 macaroons these are cute you can um for a little girl's uh a sleepover some teenager sleepover they want some macaroons you can do it for um, a wedding, you know, if you don't want to spend that much money, you can buy a bunch of these Luca macarons and make sure they're fresh and you can load it up and do your table setting. You can give them away as gifts. I mean, give the whole thing away for gifts. Somebody you know that loves macarons, they would love this. And I love that they chose main flavors, chocolate, vanilla, raspberry, pistachio, lemon, and coffee. However, I am coming up with two. Okay, so I'm coming up. There's... A treat I'm coming up with you guys that's including macaroons. There's two companies that's online. I'm going to order their macaroons and we're going to do a taste test. Then there's two companies that are here. We know the first, an original macaroon, La Durée. Even though we know the Italians started it first. I'm not going there, but the Italians did start it first. And La Durée took it over, but they do have... I got to get the name of the... He's in um, Paris in France. He's real good too. I got to get the name of this... Um, uh, um, maker. The only thing is he's not in the U.S. So Lotta Ray has come to the U.S. you guys. Absolutely I've tried those. I will link the video to when I tried those Lotta Rays. Later on the video just keep pushing forward if you don't want to see it. But you guys video is nice just watch it. Um, but Lotta Ray does not disappoint. It is absolutely delicious. And Bottega Louie here in Los Angeles, I'm going to take you to the restaurant and um, we're going to pick out some lotteries and probably have a little lunch there. So anyway, I can't wait to show you guys that. So that's coming up soon. So anyway, that was my lottery test test. You guys. Very, very good. I'm, I'm sure my family is going to devour the rest. But anyway, I hope everything's been going well. Like I said, I've been keeping you guys in my prayers. I pray for every single one of my viewers, even the ones that stop by and click. If I don't know who you are, of course I don't, but God does. And I say, Lord, everybody that stops by to click, everybody that joins me, whatever, if you're just, just looking real quick, whatever. I pray for you. I pray for God's will to that you be blessed. I pray for your life. I pray for your your purpose. I pray that you seek God wholeheartedly. I pray. I want to pray that people get better. It's too much going on in the world. I say that all the time. It happens every single day. Every time that we're um, watching something on the news, we're always hearing about this happening and that happening. Then the only th the thing is right now, you guys is really getting with me. Is this live streaming? This stuff that's going on live streaming. It's just like you wish for the old days when people didn't have that type of quick and instant. And it's sad, you know, but I'm praying for all these people. I'm praying for everybody around the world. I pray for people to draw near to Christ, to trust Jesus. Yes, I have to tell you that because he's the only way. He's the only way that you're going to make it in this world. And... People may say, you know, well, I don't want to hear about the Jesus thing. I don't want to hear. I'm not making you. I'm not forcing you. I'm not forcing Jesus on you. I'm just telling you about him because of what he's done for me personally. Because I know he's brought me through a lot. I've been through a lot in my life. Okay? And if it were not for God, if it was not were not for my faith in Jesus Christ, I would not be where I am today. Okay? And the world 
does not understand that. The world does not know that. The world drifts away. They move away from God instead of toward God. And they have to understand nothing's going to work. Happiness is not going to come. I don't care. That temporary happiness you have with your money and your success and all that other stuff and you look toward that as happiness. Excuse me. You'll find out that's not true happiness. Your true happiness is in God and in God alone. That is it. Everything else follows after that. He's the one that is your true happiness. He's the only one. He is the only one that makes you happy. Not another person. Not money. Not success. And you may say, well, why are you saying that? I'm happy now. Okay, that's great. And I'm happy that you're happy. That you're happy. But I promise you, emptiness. Emptiness. Jesus is real. And what he did on that cross for you, for, for us, you guys, is real. He is coming back soon. That is so true. And a lot of people are like, I don't want to listen to this religious stuff. And, and, and you, you don't have to. I pray for those who don't want to listen. And I pray that one day you will soften your heart, open up your heart, and just say, God, I just want to see. I just want to try you. I just want to see. And pick up the Bible. Read it. I don't care if you start from Genesis. Read it. It is beautiful. The stories in there, the triumph, the victories, the struggles, the hardships, the pain. How God was there for his people and still is to this day. How he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's amazing. We serve an amazing God. I serve an amazing God. You serve an amazing God. And if you don't know him, he's waiting for you. All you got to do is ask. Ask him to come into your heart. Forgive for your sins. Ask the Lord to forgive you for your sins. Repent of your sins. Because I know they're haunting you. Ask God to repent of your sins. Accept his son in your heart because he's the only way to God. There's no way you can go to God and pray to him and you did not go through Jesus. It's not going to work. Jesus is the only way. And I have to tell people this. Because I'm not going to get on my channel and be like, I don't want to I want to jump over Jesus and just talk about God. That's it. Because I don't want to get all into, uh-uh, honey. When y'all listen to me on this channel, I'm going to talk about Jesus. God's son. He's the only one. He's the only way. There is no other way through him. And he loves you. And he went to that cross and he died for you. And that is so true. And he rose again and he still, he is alive and well. And he's waiting for you to accept him in your heart so that he can guide your life and lead you on, on the right path. Your purpose. You guys, your purpose is not, oh, I want to be a lawyer or a doctor. That's not your purpose. You're here for more than just that. That's your work. That's a gift that God has given you to be good at that job that you're doing. But you have other purposes throughout life. And it's not just one purpose. There's many purposes and different things that you have that God wants to do with you in your life. I had to discover that for myself and am still discovering that for myself. I'm not like y'all. I'm the Christian. I got it all together. Y'all got to get like me. No. Every single day. Every single day. I'm asking God, Lord, please forgive me for that. Lord, I'm always repenting for something that I thought or negative. But not nothing where I'm deliberately. That sin where it's just the old school way I used to live. No, I don't do that no more. It is a choice. And it is, I love him so much that I say, I don't want to live like I did in the past and do the things that I know he is not happy of. But we're humans. We make mistakes. We make, you may snap at somebody. You may get Get, get mad about something you may you may you know have gone to bed mad at somebody you know things like that but I don't have time for just deliberate like just deliberate sin in my life that I used to do in the past past and I feel so free you feel so free so anyway everybody's at a different stage in your relationship with the Lord it's not gonna happen overnight where oh I'm just free and I'm never gonna sin again no but you have to accept Christ and you have to want God and seek him to walk you through. He will help you get through whatever it is that you're going through. He will help you get through addiction, drug problems, separation from family, um, whatever your issue may be. And everybody talking about you, who cares? Get everybody out your head. Let's start with that. And if God is for you, who can be against you? And if you're doing something deliberately that you know is against the word of God, that God does not like, you need to go to him personally and ask him for forgiveness. Who cares about who's judging around you? Because they all have skeletons in their closets, please. So trust God. Pour your heart out to him. Ask him for forgiveness. 
and just say, Lord, help me. I want to live on the right path. I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of painting. I'm tired of going through the same thing repetitive in my, and repetitive in my life, trying to live right, but then it comes right back around again. Because a lot of times you got, like I said, I'm going to say it again. You got to drop some people out your life. When you're trying to change and you want to do better, you got to let people go. I don't care if it's family members that you know that are not allowing you to grow in a positive way. You got to let them go. Let them go. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to um, do a haul soon. I always said that, I say that, but it's coming soon where I'm going to show you guys what I read. Um, Our Daily Bread is one thing that I read. I will connect it. Our Daily Bread, In Touch Magazine, magazine Pastor Charles Stanley. He's in um, um, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I love him. He's a very good teacher. Um, I also like Brooklyn Tabernacle. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Um, pastor Simbola is an excellent pastor and the choir is outstanding. Um, but Our Daily Bread In Touch magazine and I read my daily Bible readings. Um, I mean my Bible reading. Um, I sh I'm going to show you what Bible soon. I'm going to do a, um, a haul on that. Not really a haul but just a talk about my Bible readings for those of you who are interested in what is it that she reads. And I got to get it together and I'm going to get it together soon. There's something God's telling me you better get it together. <laughs> so I'm going to get that together soon. But I am going to link In Touch and Our Daily Bread. You can get the magazines if you want. You can read it online or you can have them sent to your house, you guys. Okay? Very good reads. And they show you. Um, also, if you want to read the Bible within the year, at the bottom, you can see where they're, where they're at and start from there. And also, um, with the readings, it's always a scripture that they attach it to that can help you understand and connect with what they wrote and how the scripture comes together okay to give you a better understanding so i hope i helped you guys out this evening um please pray for me because i'm still praying for you you guys stay tuned for more to come and i thank you for watching journey with Shar. if you like me please give me a thumbs up also leave me a comment because i love hearing from you guys and also share you guys share please i love when you share my videos okay so see you soon god bless and thank you for watching journey with Shar.